Hello students, today we are going to discuss about modification of a mitosis and a mitosis. We had already discussed about mitosis, what is the mitosis and what are the phases of mitosis. But today we are going to discuss about some modification, some changes in the mitosis. Okay, so first of all, let me discuss about cryptomitosis and that is also called promitosis. It is a primitive type of a mitosis, that is very initial type of mitosis during which a nuclear membrane does not disappear. As we have discussed already during mitosis, what happened during the phase, a nuclear membrane will be disappear during the prophase. But here in this case, during the type of a division, this type of division, nuclear membrane will remain as it is. Okay, it will not disappear appear but remain intact throughout the division so here this is the major difference between mitosis and cryptomitosis all the changes of karyokinesis occurs inside the nucleus okay though all the changes here you can see all the changes this is the nucleus so changes inside the nucleus only so during karyokinesis you know very well a nucleus will be divided into two Okay, so here whatever the changes will occur during the karyokinesis will be you can observe in the nucleus only. So even in the formation of a spindle fiber means the formation of a spindle fiber as you know the spindle fiber formation may be inside the cytoplasm in normal mitosis. Okay, but here this is a cryptomitosis that's why uh, inside the nucleus formation of spindle fiber will occur and uh, such a formation of a spindle fiber inside the nucleus is called intranuclear spindle formation. Okay, that is the one uh, phenomena and that is called intranuclear spindle formation. Such a division is found in some protozoans and well known example of a, such a protozoan is a amoeba. Okay, so during binary fusion. During binary fusion, that is one kind of uh, asexual reproduction which we can observe in the amoeba. So, this kind of uh, binary fusion is just an example of a cryptomyosis. So, here you can see this is the amoeba cell, okay, in which you can observe this uh, nucleus and plasma membrane. And then, what happened during the initiation of cryptomyosis? First of all, this nucleus will be elongated, then it becomes dumbbell shape. Okay, and will be start dividing and finally it will divide into two and karyokinesis will be finished. So, by this way you can see daughter amoeba cell will be observed and that is one phenomena called binary fusion. So, this is the example of a binary fusion which is the included inside the cryptomitosis. So, binary fusion is one kind of a cryptomitosis. Next modification of a mitosis is a dinomitosis. Why it is called dinomitosis? Because this is found in one special kind of organism that is a dinoflagellate. Okay, so here you can see in the diagram, this is the organism which have the flagella. Okay, you can see here flagella number of flagella is a two. Okay, and that's why this organism is considered as a dinoflagellate. Okay, one kind of a characteristic that two flagella is there. That's why it is called dinoflagellates. So, such an organism will show different kind of mitotic event and that is called dinomitosis, which is a, which a organism are included into mesokaryotes. So, let me understand what is a mesokaryote. Mesokaryotic cells do not have histones. Okay, as we have discussed already, eukaryotic cell will have histone protein and histone proteins are playing very important role during the condensation of chromosomes. Okay, so here these kind of cells, these are called mesokaryotic cells, okay, do not have such a kind of a protein that is a histone protein and due to absence of a histone, here you can see chromosome fail to condense properly. As I told you, histone protein play a very important role for the condensation of a chromosome. So here, uh, this is the histone is a totally absent. And that's why what happened, chromosomes will fail to condense properly and due to that, not uh, distinctly visible during the cell division. So uh, whenever a chromosome condense together and then only we can observe the chromosomes. Okay, but here condensation process will not occur due to the absence of histones and that's why we cannot observe chromosome or visible chromosome during the cell division. Okay, and nuclear membrane pulses throughout the cell. Here also you can observe nuclear membrane will not disappear. Okay, this is the difference. Nuclear membrane pulses throughout the cell division and spindle is intranuclear type. Here also you can see a spindle fiber whatever is formed will be inside the nucleus and that's why here it is written intranuclear type of a spindle and normal mitosis is termed as a eumitosis. So if you are uh, talking about uh, normal mitosis in that you can say eumitosis. 
Okay, and here this is an abnormal or we can say some modification of a mitosis and that is called dinomitosis. Next important modification of a mitosis is a free nuclear division. So let me discuss that. So karyokinesis, you know very well, karyokinesis is the process of a nucleus division. Okay, so uh, you know very well. Any cell division comprised of two stages. First is a karyokinesis and afterward uh, what will be there? A cytokinesis will be there. That means first of all nucleus will be divided and then cytoplasm will be divided. This is the normal mitotic uh, process. Okay, but here what happened? Karyokinesis is not followed by cytokinesis. Here in this case, whenever the free nuclear division is there, at that time karyokinesis will occur. But it is not followed by cytokinesis. As a result, what happened? You can see here, this is the cell. Okay, and the inside this, in the center, there is a nucleus. It will divide into two. Okay, so this is the nothing, but this is the karyokinesis. Okay, further it will divide. Further it will divide. Okay, as a result of that, you can see two nucleus, four nucleus, eight nucleus. But here, it is not followed by cytokinesis. As a result of that, you observe uh, one cell will have so many number of a nucleus. And that's why here you can see free nuclear division is there. So, so many freely available nucleus is found due to this phenomena. Okay, so here what happened? Karyokinesis occurs so many times, but cytokinesis do not occur. And that's why this is the situation in which you can see one cell will have so many free nucleus inside the cell. Okay, so such an example is endosperm formation. During endosperm formation in the plants, this type of phenomena will be observed. Next important modification is endomitosis. So let me discuss that. What is endomitosis? This is the duplication of a chromosomes without division of a nucleus. So here this is totally different thing. Okay, here you can see uh, karyokinesis will not occur. So this is the uh, duplication of a chromosome without division of a nucleus. So let me discuss that. Endomitosis lead to polyploidy. Such a condition in which chromosome number will be increased. Okay, duplication of chromosome. That means number of chromosome will be increased without division of a nucleus. So one cell will have so many copies of a chromosome. And such a condition is called polyploidy. Okay, so be very clear what is a polyploidy. Polyploidy indicate the number of chromosome means copies of a chromosome will be high in a single cell. Okay, means increase in the number of genome, increase in the number of chromosome without division of a nucleus. Such a condition is called polyploidy. Colchicine induced, colchicine is one kind of chemical. Okay, this is artificial chemical or which is uh, extracted from the plants. Okay, so colchicine is playing very important role to induce such a kind of a phenomena. Okay, polyploidy we can induce artificially by using colchicine. Colchicine is one kind of chemical. So if you use colchicine or if you apply colchicine to the plant cell, it will induce polyploidy in plant cell. Okay, so what is due? Colchicine is a mitotic poison. It will act as a mitotic poison. So it will stop the mitotic phases. Okay, you know very well mitosis will comprise of four phases actually. It is made up of uh, four stages. First is a prophase, metaphase, anaphase and then telophase, right? So here if you add colchicine, this whole phase will be disturbed. Okay, some phase will be followed and some phase will be not completed. And that's why here it is written mitotic poison. Why it is acting as a mitotic poison? Because it will in interfere in the mitotic division. And that's why it is written mitotic poison. As it arrays the formation of spindle fiber, how it is uh, interrupting the cell division? Okay, especially mitotic cell division, how it will be interfere? So it will arrest, means it will stop the formation of spindle fiber. As you know very well, spindle fiber play a very important role during the mitosis. Okay, so here what happen if you add colchicine uh, or apply colchicine to the plant cell, what happen it will act as a mitotic poison and as a result of that, spindle fiber formation will be stopped. Okay, and so uh, as a result of that, what happened? Metaphase stage will also arrested. Means metaphase stage will be stopped. Okay, so cell will not go further in the anaphase. So by this way, you can see cell will be arrested in the metaphase plate. Okay, so uh, here you can compare. This is the simple mitosis and this is the endomitosis. What happened? So in simple mitosis, you know, uh, these are the stages. G1 phase, AS phase, G2 phase and M phase. 
okay this is all stages together is comprised of mitosis means all this stage will have a mitosis okay so as a result of that you can see this is a parent cell and this is the daughter cell okay so both will have same number of chromosome but here what happened this g1 phase will be followed by s phase it will be followed by g2 phase and some stages of mitosis will also occur like prophase and metaphase but after metaphase ana phase will not fall out it will be come out of that cell okay so and this uh, cell will just follow up to the metaphase after the addition of a colchicine it will not followed by the anaphase telophase or cytokinesis all that okay as a result of that what happen here you can see chromosome number inside the cell will be increase okay this is the phenomenon and this is called endomitosis next modification is the endo reduplication so what is the endo reduplication let me understand endo reduplication is the modification of endomitosis just a small change in the endomitosis which you have learned poly teen chromosomes will be formed here okay so the poly teen chromosome formed by the process of endo reduplication so let me understand what is this in reduplication or endo reduplication the chromatid replicate okay you know very well what is a chromatid sister chromatid and all that two sister chromatid join together by using centromere and it will form chromosome okay so here what happen chromatids replicate but do not get separated chromatid will be replicate but it do not get separated and as a result of that chromosome will have so many number of chromatids or more than two chromatids so such a chromosome in which you can understand such a chromosome that we have a more than in simple chromosome you know very well chromatid number will be two so two sister chromatid join together by using centromere this is the normal condition but in this situation what happen more than two chromatid will join together by centromere in a single chromosome and such a chromosomes are called poly teen chromosome because poly means multiple okay so chromatid number will be more so chromatids replicate but do not get separated and such a phenomena is called polyteny okay as a result you can see here normally it will have a two sister chromatid but here you can see two sister chromatid more than two sister chromatid will be observed and such a chromosome is called polyteny chromosome and that will be observed during the mitosis such a mitosis is called endo reduplication okay and uh, we can uh, uh, induce this type of process artificially by using mustard gas or a ribonuclease enzyme this two will act as a inducer for such a endo reduplication and that's why it is also called mitotic poison next is a amitosis the name amitosis was given by remek and the detail of amitosis is given by fleming so these two scientists behind this theory it is most primitive or a basic type of a cell division condensation of a chromosome do not occur in this type of cell division that is a mitosis type of cell division chromosomes are not visible as i told you already if chromosome condensed during the cell division then only we can observe the chromosomes okay otherwise we cannot observe the chromosomes so chromosomes are not visible because of a lack of a, or a absence of a condensation during the division it is the process of a division without recognizable chromosomes so here recognition means you cannot identify the chromosomes okay and uh, in this phase because of a lack of a, or absence of a condensation a mitosis does not involve the formation of a spindle here this is also very important step you can see a spindle fiber formation do not occur here division of a nucleus is a direct that means without sequential changes you know very well any mitosis will be uh, followed by prophase metaphase anaphase telophase but here nuclear division or karyokinesis will be directly means you cannot observe uh, main sequential changes like prophase metaphase anaphase or telophase this is here you can see the process of amitosis in which this is the cell okay so karyokinesis and cytokinesis both will run together because here there is no sequential changes okay you cannot observe the prophase metaphase anaphase and telophase that's why you can see this directly okay so nucleus and cytoplasm both will divide together like this and now finally two daughter cell will be observed such a condition is called amitosis in amitosis division of a cytoplasm and nucleus occur simultaneously okay only just due to constrictions so both the process will occur simultaneously not one after another in mitosis division may be equal or unequal 
so here amitose during amitosis division may be equal or unequal amitosis is fastest cell division because here you can understand there is no sequential method this is not sequential method and here both the phenomena cytoplasm and nucleus division both will run together or simultaneously that's how you can understand this phenomena will be fastest and even it may be completed within 20 to 30 minutes okay so this is the fastest cell division we can say so amitosis is the process which is the fastest cell division process Okay, so amitosis is cell division of a prokaryotes. Generally, these kind of cells, means prokaryote kind of cells will divide by this way. Okay, but exceptionally also occur in some eukaryotes. So, uh, if cells of a eukaryote is a single cell cells, okay, so such an organism, which are single cell organism like yeast, okay, will be show such a kind of a cell division. But generally, it is found in the prokaryotes. So, just uh, here you can see the examples, yeast which is unicellular, one cell, cell a single cell organism that is yeast, budding occurred by amitosis. So, here this is the example which is given for the yeast cell. So, this is the cell during the initiation. Okay, so directly what happened, it will show the bud formation here. You can see here, this is the bud formation. Then DNA replication will occur, nuclear migration will occur. And as a result of this, you can see, this cell will now get some nucleus by this way. See, okay, this is the nuclear composi composition will be transferred over here. But here you can notice that both cell will not equally divide. Okay, means nucleus will divide equally, but cytoplasm do not divide equally. That's why you can observe here, one cell will be large, and one cell will be small. This is the main difference of amitosis. Okay, so here what happens? See, okay, you can understand the cell, one cell will be larger and one cell will be smaller. This is the main difference. So, nuclear content will be same. Karyokinesis will be equal, but cytokinesis is not equal. Just like, uh, means this is the main difference between the mitosis. Okay, so it, you can observe this in the yeast cells. So, in yeast cell, if yeast cell shows such a kind of amitosis, that process is called budding process. In amoeba, multiple fission. In amoeba, if amoeba shows you the, such a kind of amitosis, then it is considered as a multiple fission and that is occurred due to the amitosis. In paramecium, is a mega nucleus kind of division. Okay, and mammal growth cells, fetal membranes, okay, that is amnion, chorion, allantois, yolk sacs. This all we will discuss in next lectures. Okay, division of a mitochondria and chloroplast occur by this way. So, amitosis is the process you can observe in all these, all the examples. In these all examples, you can observe this process. So, this is your homework for today's lecture in which you have to solve MCQs from MCQ sheet exercise number one. In next lecture, we will learn differences between mitosis and meiosis. So, till that, goodbye.